Hi everyone. Welcome to Swagonomics. This is the first episode of the first season of Swagonomics. Swagonomics is an online institution of fashion. I'll be dropping files about the South African fashion scene. On the first episode, I'll be dropping the file of the late Ricky Rick. Ricky was always associated with fashion. Whether you follow fashion or not, you knew he was the first person to look at when it comes to fashion. Without wasting time, this is the Ricky Rick file. Ricky was born and raised in Guamash. He was described as an artistically gifted person and creative person by his childhood friends and the industry as a whole. Ricky went to Hilton College during his high school days, so it's safe to say that's where his love for fashion began. On an interview with Lute Love, he described Hilton as a foundation for his love for sneakers. He then formed a friendship with Dalez, and through that friendship, that's where he met the boys and bucks. I'll drop the boys and bucks files in the next upcoming episodes. Boys and Bucks was a creative collection which consists of individuals like Oki Malum Kuket, Stilo Magolide, Sanele, MK Fresh, Pico, Buesi Kobayashi, and Scoop Magatini. They would make music, blogs, and all culture-related shit. They became so influential to a point that they landed on the Rolling Stone Top 100 Cruise. In 2014, he dropped his first hit, Nafukwa, and the music video was launched at the Palladium Store. In the video, we see members of the Boys and Bucks are all wearing Palladiums. After that video dropped, everybody started wearing Palladiums. Over the next few years, he got deep in the high fashion scene and started rocking Gucci down to the socks. He loved Gucci so much that he tatted it on his neck. In 2016, he dropped Silukotin, which directly translates to We Eat Cotton. In the music video, he's wearing Gucci in all the scenes. Gucci then became the most known brand around that time. He was then invited to the Gucci fashion show, where he met the likes of ASAP Rocky, Gogo Lupin, and Tremaine Emery, to name a few. My favorite outfit of Ricky is the one he was wearing at the Metro Woods, where he was said some controversial shit. After seeing the influence he had on the South African fashion scene, it was safe for him to call himself King Godini. In 2017, he made his first cover on GQ magazine. On that same year, he was featured on Frank Casino's The Whole Thing Remix. Styled by Didi Monster, we saw how everyone in the music video was dressed in kappa tracksuits. And to nobody's surprise, everybody started rocking kappa tracksuits. And I don't think the reception would have been the same had he styled somebody else. He also got an invite from Tommy Hilfiger. At this point, Ricky was done. Everything he did after here was a bonus. There's a line he says in Galagata by Costa Teach. Made so many friends in high places. Ricky Rick don't even need to rap. As time went on, he dropped merch under Cotton Club Records, a brand he founded. The demand of the merch was so high that some people at the pop-up left without it. He realized the hunger the kids had for the culture, and so he created Cotton Fest, an event for creatives to showcase their skills in culture. Cotton Fest is an annual event started in 2019 and became a major success till today. Just to make things clear, Ricky wasn't only into international clothing. He also wore South African high-end clothing from designers like La Duma, Richie Mnisi, Tabe Makuku, Xavier Zulu, and Wanda Lipato, to name a few. Sadly, on the morning of the 23rd of February, 2022, we woke up to the news that Ricky Rick had passed. Ricky played a huge role in the South African fashion scene and the music scene. He opened doors for a lot of people and I'm highly blessed to have lived in his lifetime. 
Ricky has done a whole lot of things that I'm sure there's some that I couldn't even cover. But hopefully, you're now having an understanding of how important Ricky was in the culture. If you like this video and would like to see more, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe button for more videos. In Ricky's famous words, we never die, we multiply.